Good morning, good morning, good morning. Here we are down the beach on a Friday. I started to think it was Saturday and I was going to go into command day. But today is actually Futuristic Friday and it's Good Friday, Easter Friday. It's a religious day for some and just a day off work for others. And we're on the Gold Coast in Queensland in Australia and everything shuts down. Funnily enough, I'm sitting here looking at two cafes that seem to be open, so maybe things are starting to open up this year, which is interesting. What I like to do is come down here for a swim and then share some form of fairy tale or nursery rhyme and try and uh, connect it or align it with something around strengths and talents and uh, Clifton Strength Finder. So I've got a choice today. The three little pigs or Goldilocks and the three bears. Is it Goldilocks and the three bears? I think it is. So innocent little Goldilocks. She goes romping through the forest, through everyday life, looking for somewhere comfortable. I think it's Goldilocks. Goldilocks and the three bears. Three bears. Talents. How do we class talents? Talents are your natural patterns of thought, emotion and behaviour. And on their own, they're handy, but they don't get you far. When you combine two of them, thoughts and emotions, yeah, it works. But it's not until you combine all three that they become talents. And when you apply skills and knowledge to those thoughts, emotions and behaviours, they become strengths. So similarly with Goldilocks, romping through the forest, romping through her land, once again, a young girl looking to become a woman. But the analogy there is trouncing through the forest, looking for happiness, looking for what she wants to achieve. And she comes across a little home, doesn't she? And she sits down and she eats the porridge that's been sitting there. And One's too cold, one's too hot, and one's just right. So once again, we've got the number three. So one by itself is no good. The second one by itself is no good. But if you combine hot and cold and you put it into the third bowl, it's generally just right. So when you combine thoughts, emotions, and behaviors, you get the porridge that's just right. And I think she sits in some chairs, doesn't she, or something, and one's too hard, one's too soft, and then there's one just right. So again, combining the three. And then of course she goes into the bedroom and she's got one again that's too hard, one that's too soft and one that's just right. So it's almost like trial and error. That you try one, it doesn't work. You try another and it doesn't work. But because you've built up your thoughts, emotions and behaviours, more often than not, you apply that skills and knowledge and third time lucky as they say, you find the comfort zone that you're looking for. So is it a case of the third one is different or is it a case of the third one is a combination? of all three and that's where we find strength because it's what we've learnt. Now had she gone to that first bowl of porridge or had she gone to that first chair or had she gone to that first bed, is it suggesting they would have been best right, just right? My guess is that the metaphor and the analogy there is that it didn't matter which one she tried first or second, the third one was always going to be just right because it was the skills and knowledge of learning the first one and the second one that allowed her to be in number three. And what's this analogy with bears? Why is it with bears? Bears need honey. Bears are grizzly or bears are soft and cuddly. And then you have teddy bears that are soft and cuddly. Why the bears? There's bears in a whole lot of different stories, isn't there? There must be some sort of synergy there. That's something to look at. But that's a short story today. It's only four minutes or coming up to. So, what do you think about thoughts, emotions, and behaviours? How are your talents landing on the world? Because according to the Clifton Strength Finder, there's 34 talent themes in all. And when you complete the Clifton Strength Finder, you find your top five talents. And they're your thoughts, natural patterns of thought, emotion, and behaviour. And that's where we apply those skills and knowledge, whether it's through reading, watching YouTube clips, uh, achieving coaching, receiving coaching, or just joining the strengths community and communicating with people with a language of focusing on what you're good at and what you're great at and what you really enjoy doing. Because you become energized. When you know and work in a talent zone, you become energized because you're doing what you love doing. And unfortunately, where I was brought up, we tended to focus on what was wrong or what was broken or what needed fixing. And that's the whole concept. And that's what Don Clifton came up with, was this concept of let's focus on what we do well rather than trying to fix what's broken. I love it. I love the world I live in, and I'm going to continue doing it until the day I die. And that's the story, isn't it? I've got he locks in the three bears, but I'm Danny Crouch from Choose Your Chapter, and remember, 
focus on your strengths. Bye for now.